Welcome to Create the Best Me. I am Carmen Haycox, a personal development coach, and I am so excited to be connecting with you today. Whether you're listening to the podcast or joining us on YouTube, my goal is to help women navigate through midlife challenges with compassion, inspiration, and empowering conversation. Each week, we'll dive into thought-provoking topics designed to build self-confidence, overcome invisible women syndrome, and find the courage to create the best version of yourself. I'll also be joined by expert guests who will share the wisdom and insights. So make yourself comfortable and let's embark on this journey together. Hello, and welcome to today's episode, where I will be discussing a topic affecting many women. It's called midlife crisis. It's not uncommon for women in their 40s and 50s to go through a phase where they feel stuck, unfulfilled, and uncertain about the future. But this phase does not have to be a negative experience. In fact, it can be an opportunity to reflect, evaluate, and plan for the next phase of your life. But before we begin, my name is Carmen Hecox, and I am your host and personal development coach here at Create the Best Me. If you are new to the show, I just want to say welcome and I invite you to subscribe. If you are not new, welcome back. I am so glad you are here. First, let's define what a midlife crisis is. It is a period of self-doubt and questioning that often arises in middle age when women begin to feel that their lives may not be going as planned. We feel unfulfilled in our careers, relationships, or personal lives that may feel like we're stuck in a rut or that we're not living up to our full potential. So what can you do if you're going through a midlife crisis? Here are a few tips to help you navigate this phase of your life and come out on the other side feeling empowered and fulfilled. I recommend grab a journal, notebook, OneNote, whatever tool you use to document your thoughts. My tip will require some writing, so let's get started. Reevaluate your goals and priorities. As you reflect on your past experiences, you may notice that your goals and priorities may have changed. That's okay. Take time to reevaluate what is important to you now. What are your values? What do you want to achieve in the next phase of your life? Realigning your goals and priorities can help you find your purpose and a sense of direction. Write down your goals and priorities. Don't worry about spelling and grammar. This writing is for your eyes only. What path do you need to be on in order to achieve your goals? And are your current priorities getting you closer to reaching those goals? Next, embrace change. Change can be scary, but it can also be invigorating. Embrace the change that comes with midlife. Try new things. Take risks and step outside your comfort zone. You may discover passion and interests that you never knew you had. Create a list of all the things you'd like to try or do. I challenge you to think outside the box and go crazy. Now, review your list. Pick a few things that you've written and enter them into your calendar. Yes, you heard me right. Schedule time to do those things. I have this personal rule. If it's on my calendar, it's going to get done. Take care of yourself. Self-care is essential during a midlife crisis. Exercise, eat well, get plenty of sleep and prioritize your mental health. Make time for activities that bring you joy and relaxation. As we're moving through this midlife adventure, our bodies are definitely changing, right? So we've got to make sure we're extra good to ourselves. Make sure you're working out whatever form of workout routine you choose, eating those yummy, healthy meals, and getting a solid seven to nine hours of sleep. Yes, you heard me right. Seven to nine hours of sleep every night. And oh, girl, don't you forget to lean on your family and friends or even a therapist if you need it. After all, we're in this together. We deserve to feel our best. Create a vision for your future. What do you want your life to look like five, ten years? 
What steps can you take to make that vision a reality? Create a roadmap for your future that can help you stay focused and motivated. For me, my five-year plan is to speak in front of a large group of women who are seeking encouragement as they migrate through midlife. I want to change the phrase midlife crisis to a midlife transformation. Doesn't that sound more appealing? I want women to look forward to becoming a new, robust version of themselves. Remember that journal I asked you to use in the beginning? Well, I recommend you practice journaling daily. Write what's on your mind. It doesn't have to be pages and pages of journaling. It's just a place for you to express your thoughts, dreams, and plans. The best part is you began your journaling experience with this exercise. So I know it's going to be a winner. So to summarize, I talked about taking time to reflect on your life and appreciate and applaud yourself for your journey well-traveled. Reevaluate your goals and priorities. Have they changed? How will your priorities help you reach your goals? Embrace change. Yes, I said embrace change. Don't fight it. Embrace it so that you can discover your passion and interest. Take care of yourself. If you don't, who will? And finally, begin to dream, and I mean dream big. What does the future look like for you? A midlife crisis can be a challenging phase in a woman's life, but it can also be an opportunity for growth and change. By reflecting, reevaluating, embracing change, taking care of yourself, and creating a vision for your future, you can make this phase of your life a pleasurable and fulfilling experience. If you want to hear more about midlife, I recommend you listen to episode 006, where I dive deeper into this topic. Or in episode 005, where Dr. Jen discusses her journey through midlife as a gift instead of a crisis. But don't worry, I will provide a link to those episodes in the show notes. Or you can find them along with today's transcript at createthebestme.com forward slash ep 007. But don't miss out on the excitement next week because I got a thrilling episode coming your way. The one and only Paige from Salone Wilder Salon will be joining us, dishing out fabulous tips and tricks to keep your hair healthy and vibrant. Plus, learn the secrets to nailing that perfect hairdress client communication for a flawless hair experience. Mark your calendars. I'll see you there. If you want to be the first to know when my next episode is released, head on over to createthebestme.com and sign up to receive those notifications. Until next time, have a fantastic day. Bye.